everyone. Welcome back. Look what showed up in my mailbox this afternoon. Yay! It's my monthly BoxyCharm box. This is for the month of April. For those that aren't aware, BoxyCharm is a monthly beauty subscription box. It retails for $21 a month uh, plus $5 shipping to Canada and that is in US dollars so usually it works about, out to around 33 Canadian dollars a month for this box. You get five full-size items in it each month, and yeah, it's an awesome box. Very rarely am I disappointed. I look a little odd today. My makeup is kind of done, kind of not, so because I figured I would do this kind of a try-on style type of video. I have no idea what's in this box, and I am eager to check it out. I did see some spoilers, but there were, were a number of variations for the box, so... There's only one thing that I'm hoping I don't get because I already have it, but otherwise, I'd be happy with anything else. So, we are going to open this, this thing up. Let's see what's in it. We have our BoxyCharm card, and they changed it this month. Usually it's just a card front and back, but this year, or this year, this month they've done like a longer version of it. So, I'm not even going to look at it yet because I want to see what's in my box. Okay, so the first thing I am pulling out is the Brow Gal, Brow Gal <laughs> uh, by Tanya Crux, and it's the Instant Brow Hair Zero Two Tinted Brow Gel with microfibers, and it is the brown one. I am happy for this. I have seen a few people. One person who had really dark hair, she got a blonde one, and then I saw someone who had lighter hair get a dark one, so I'm glad that I got just plain old brown, because that should work out great for me. I'm just going to put it to the side, and after I go through the whole box, then I will try them out and put those things on. Let's see, what else do we have here? We have the Adesse, Adesse High, Li High Definition Liquid Lipstick, and open it up and see what color it is. It's this packaging here before I, you know, wrecked the box. Ooh, it's a pretty color. It looks like this. And I don't see a shade name on it anywhere. Maybe it'll be on the card. I'll look afterwards and see. Sweet. Okay, we have the Tartus, Pl Tartus Pro Glow. Um, this is a liquid highlighter. So exciting it's like Christmas <laughs> liquid highlighter does it say oh and exposed good I was hoping to get this this color uh, yeah liquid highlighter exciting we also have I won't be trying this on because it's a purifying mask but it's the pores no more vacuum cleaner by dr. Brandt so this is something I actually am looking forward to trying out I do not enjoy um, sheet masks. I don't lay down long enough to have them on my face and they just fall off anytime I don't. So I don't usually use sheet masks, but I don't mind ones that are like clay or that sort of thing, sticky ones that actually are on my face and I have to wash off. So I will use this later on in the week. And the last thing in here, this is the one thing that I was hoping I didn't get because one of the variations was something I already had. Anyway, I'll explain. <laughs> It's the Semi Precious palette by ColourPop. Um, I already have the My Little Pony one, which is one of the variations of the box, so I was that was the one thing I was hoping I wouldn't get. And I got actually, out of all the palettes, I think there were five of them, this is the one that I was hoping to get. This is the one that kind of was most interesting to me, although any of them I would have enjoyed. So yes, I'm happy that I didn't get the My Little Pony one because I already have it. So yeah, that's everything in this month's box. So I'm just going to go through with the pricing on it so we can see how much everything was. And then I'll try everything on that I have. So the first thing on our list, did I lose it already? Where did I put it? Oh my goodness. How did I do that? No. Helps if you look for the right color lid. The first thing that is on the list is the TARDIS Pro Glow. And this is... It retails for $29 American, and you could have gotten, does it say which ones? There was three variations. I don't think it says on here what they were, but I know one of them was exposed, and that was the one I wanted to get, and that is the one I got, so I am excited for that. The Dr. Brandt, the 
no more vacuum cleaner. Pours no more vacuum cleaner retails for 47 American dollars. Um, the brow gal, where are we? This one retails for 22 American dollars. And the liquid lipstick retails for 24 US dollars. And this particular palette retails for $26. So yeah, uh, my math, let's see. I'll probably edit part of this outlet. So that's really good. It's a $144 value and it's a $21 box, even with the $5 shipping, even with the exchange rate of $33. It's well worth it for these items, especially, especially when you get things that you're looking for too. I'm not disappointed with any of the items in this box, first off, just looking at it. So now I'm gonna try some of these things out. Yay! The first thing I am going to try is this TARDIS Pro Glow and Exposed. We'll see how it goes over powder. I already have powder on my face, so I'm just going to throw that back there for now. I'm just going to put a little bit. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm not into blinding highlights, but we will see if how, uh, how this goes. Blend it in. Is it going to take off? Well, okay, first off, it's like a streak on my face. It is not, I am not, <laughs> this is kind of a bad idea, I think. It is not blending in well at all. It just wants to stay a streak, streak on my face. I don't know if you can tell on camera or not, but it does not want to go anywhere. It's like, down and stuck. Perfect. <laughs> so we're just going to keep dabbing and dabbing. <sighs> It'll look like I got punched in the face by the time I'm done blending this out. Oh, sorry. Blinding people. Okay. Now, I don't really want to go and do the same thing on the other side, but I kind of want it to match a bit. So I'm going to do a little different. I'm going to put it on the sponge. I'm going to go from there. This is worse. It's all splotchy. <laughs> At least before it was just a streak. Okay. So, I'm going to try this again another day. Because starting, just to start, this is not, this is not easy to work with at all. Oh my goodness. I expect fact that if I would put it underneath my powder, it probably would blend out better. It's not lifting my powder or foundation up. It's just, it's setting so fast that I can't blend it. So either that, or if I mix it with a foundation or I put it on before my foundation and then my foundation. Yeah. So if I put it on before my foundation, meaning my foundation is going to be on top of it, it might just give a subtle glow through it. Um, this side is actually blending out a little bit better now. I like the color. Yeah, this one blended out nice now. I don't know why this one, maybe because I went in with my finger. I'm gonna just try and fix it. See if we can get it to blend out a little bit. Oh wow. That might not have been a good idea. Oh, we're not starting off good with the try-on, are we? <laughs> but there's one thing about makeup and me is I am determined to make things work. I will find a way before I call it complete trash and say it's garbage. So there's a few other ways we can make it work. I think this side actually blended out pretty nice. It's not too bad. So I think you just have to go in with a really light hand and um, either with on a sponge right away, putting it on my finger and then pressing it onto my cheek like that. It seemed to set it really quick. I'm not sure why. But we're blending it out a bit. We'll put some powder over top of it. and So, hmm. I'm not sure about this. We will try it again. I don't hate it. I like the color. I just don't like how it was very difficult to blend out. But there are ways around it. So I will work on it and see if I can get it to work for me. Now, before I go on, I'm going to set that just with... This might be asking for more trouble, but I'm just going to set it with some regular... Um, what's it called? Highlighter. That's the word. Maybe it'll blend out a little bit. You know, it's not looking as bad now. Okay, so 
it's a bugger to blend out. I don't know why it was so challenging on this side, but it didn't pick up my powder or my foundation or anything. Like it went over it okay. It was just really hard to blend. So I'm not sure if that was just user error on my part. Maybe if I actually read the packaging, it doesn't give instructions on it. Maybe if I look it up and see what it says to do, that's what I will do before I hate on it too much. But yeah, I blended it out. It's not super awful now. Me and my like wacky slap it on. Okay, actually, I really like it. Now that it's blended out and I set it, it's not bad. But yeah, maybe it did take up my... No, it didn't. Yeah. Not sure how I feel about it. I like the color. I like the way it looks now. Just a lot more work than I was expecting for that. <laughs> so moving on, I'm going to do my brows next. I'm going to try this, the brow gal. I know I'm going to need to fill in my brows with a pencil as well. That is the furnace starting up for those of you that are new and haven't heard that sound before. That is what that is. So yeah, I'm going to, I know I'm probably going to, I know I'm going to have to fill in my brows. I'm a child, a teen from the nineties. We didn't have much brows back then and I don't have much brows now because of it. So, um, I will fill them in with, oops, I will be filling them in with a pencil too, but I'm going to start with this stuff first to see. Wow. I heard people talk about how tiny the wand was. I'm like, yeah, it doesn't look that tiny. It's tiny. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and it's got fibers on it too. So I'm glad I got the brown. I'm not sure what people that got blonde and they have dark hair will do, but I guess you can make it work. I'm not usually a fan of the tinted ones just because my brows are so sparse. I have to go in with I usually make a mess like I just did and I usually have to go in with a pencil or a powder or something anyway to make it look like I still have brows because usually these don't do it but this is actually filling it in pretty nice I do have to fill it in with a pencil still but it's not bad it's not awful I would keep using it and it, because the I'm blinding everyone again I'm sorry <laughs> because the wand is so teeny tiny on it it's not making a huge mess it's making a little mess I'll have to clean up later because I didn't bring anything down to clean it up with but yeah it's like the fibers are filling it in nice I like it do the other side and let it dry and then I'll go in with the pencil yeah they are a little messier just because I don't have many brows at all but It's not as awful as some of the other ones that I have tried. Yeah, like I said, I usually just go in with a pencil and then I use a clear gel just to keep everything in place. I am making a hot mess with this. Oh my goodness. I'm going to stop there and just let it dry and hopefully it flakes off. Okay, what are we doing next? I'm going to let the brows dry. <clears throat> I'm going to go in. And I'm going to do my eyes next. So I'm just going to set that quickly with, or get some eyeshadow primer on my eyes quickly before I go in and do my eyes. Okay, so this is the Semi Precious palette by ColourPop. There are no matte shades in it, and I didn't bring another sh uh, palette down with me. So I'm just going to use uh, some bronzer and pressed powder to set my lids and put something in my crease before I go in with this. Oh, what do we feel like today? These are so pretty. Oh. Ooh, I probably shouldn't have done that. I have a burn on my finger. So I think I'm just going to go in with this mostly on my lid and then deepen it up in the corner with this shade and maybe under my lash line as well. I'm going to keep it kind of simple today. Okay. Let's see how this goes on the eye. Ooh. This is going on really nice. I don't even feel like I have to wet it or anything. It's just going on really, really pretty. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go and finish my brows and put some mascara on and when I come back, we will try out this lipstick and I will give you my final thoughts on this month's box. Okay, my eyes are all done now and my brows and now we are going to try out 
this liquid lipstick here. I have, oh, I was going to see if it said what shade it was. Let's see. Does it say on here? Okay, as far as I can tell, it doesn't say on the card or anywhere on the packaging what shade it is, but it's kind of like a nudie brown kind of shade, I guess. So, oh, it's one of those flat paddle applicators, it's kind of like a doe foot, but it's flat on both sides. So we will try this out and see how it goes. I just finished. It went on pretty easy. I like the applicator. It's not too flimsy. I didn't have to dip back into it. I was able to do it all in one coat. So that was nice. It is kind of sticky right now for a liquid lipstick. So I don't know if it's more like a Too Faced melted matte where it doesn't dry down completely. Um, either way, I don't mind it. I don't mind a drying one as long as it doesn't make my lips look all crepey. And I don't mind something that's a little tacky because they're usually more comfortable to wear. So I will update on when I'm editing, I will add in a thing and let you know if it actually dried down or not, or if it just stayed tacky the whole time. But I don't mind it. It's not uncomfortable. It's not super sticky to the point where my lips are sticking together when I'm talking. And it's not dry, at least at this point. So that's good. So I'm going to go through each item here and start with the lipstick. I like it. I like the color. I like how it went on. We'll see how it wears. And as a first impression, it went on nice. I'm not disappointed. Um, <clears throat> Pardon me, the Tardis Pro Glow. I like the color on it. It took a lot of work to blend this out. I'm going to try it in different ways. I don't know if it's something I would reach for all that often. Maybe in the summertime more if I have a tan and I'm not really using foundation and that sort of thing. It might work better. I don't know. Um, I am going to keep trying it out and trying to make it work and see if I can get it to work for me and in what way that might be. So I don't hate it. I like the color. I'm just a little frustrated with how much effort it is taking to use this. Uh, this vacuum cleaner, Pores No More vacuum cleaner, I'm looking forward to using it. I have no idea. Actually, you know what? I'm going to open it up. It's sealed. Let's see. Is it white? Is it clay? Okay. Oh, it's got... Oh, it's turning blue. <laughs> I'm going to put some on this hand and I'm going to show you guys because the other hand... So it goes on white and it has like these little blue beads in it and then as you put it like that it turns blue that's kind of cool. I'm looking forward to looking like a smurf for five to ten minutes for two to three times a week while I am using this <laughs> uh, the semi precious palette I loved it it blended out nicely it's beautiful colors um, I've worn ColourPop shadows before I've enjoyed them they blend nice, they're affordable, they wear well on me. I do wear a primer with them, but I wear a primer with all my eyeshadows anyway, so I can't tell you how they might work without one, but with a prime eye primer, they work really well, and these particular ones, the couple that I did use, they blended out very nicely, and I'm happy to keep using it and trying it out. And is this, yes, this is the last item, the Brow Gal Instant uh, Tinted Brow Gel. This wasn't bad. Um... I put it on before I put my pencil on and uh, the only reason why I did that was so I could see how it actually worked on its own. Normally I would put a pencil on first and then put a gel on afterwards. So it was a little bit challenging to get my pencil on. It was starting, the gel was starting to flake off and it was going kind of clumpy. And so gross. I would say if you are going to use this, I would definitely put on your pencil or your powder first if you are using that before you put this on. If you're just going in with this and nothing else, you should be fine. But yeah, if you are putting a different product in to fill your brows in, it's best, I think, to do it first and then put this on afterwards just to set it and fill it in even more but it worked nice I'm looking forward to using it again it was a little messy but it wasn't as messy as some of the other ones because the the wand on it <laughs> the little bristle wand thing on it is really really tiny it's tinier than the benefit one and some of the other ones that I've used so it was user friendly for that but it was also a little messy just because I'm messy when I put the stuff on I guess so who knows <laughs> all in all I have to say I am really liking this box I like everything I got in it I'm looking forward to using it again these two things are kind of a challenge for me but I am up for the challenge and I am I'm always trying to make things work um, that is one thing I enjoy about makeup I am not one to quickly throw it down and say it's garbage I am one to try and make it work and I will let you know in a future video if um if I am unable to make these work in any way or how I did make them work. Like I said with the brow one, I'm pretty sure if I went in with my pencil first or my powder first and then applied this afterwards, it would have been much better and much easier and probably less messier. Um, but as for this, 
This is going to be a bit of a challenge. We shall see. We shall see how this works. And that, everyone, is my BoxyCharm for the month of April. Again, it is $21 a month plus $5 to ship it to Canada. That is US dollars, so the price will actually fluctuate for you if you are in Canada, depending on the dollar. I have never been charged duty or anything like that on any of these boxes. Sometimes they're held up in customs for a little while. This month it wasn't Let me know if bad. you get BoxyCharm and what you received in this month's box. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.